Hello everyone and welcome to your third Axe Parser tutorial. In this tutorial we will be um I will be teaching you how to use the get key command to get any of these keys and to test to see if they will do anything you want them to do. And I will also be um I may be teaching you how to put a sprite on the screen. Um and I might teach you how to do a few loops and stuff too. Um please note uh that I do um recommend you knowing basic before any of these tutorials I'm pretty sure you do if you know about axe you've probably done some basic because I'm going to be going pretty fast through the really basic concepts like loops and stuff but any at any rate um let's have some fun with this so the first thing I'm going to be teaching you how to do is use the get key command so we're going to be making a new program. I'm going to delete the old Mario program. If you don't know how to delete a program, go to second and then the plus button. Go down to two. Go down to programs, which is seven. Um, and then you can delete by just pressing delete and then two. And delete and then two. Don't delete hex pick, by the way. That's good to have. Okay. So I'm just going to be making a new one called um key source so key oh my god you have to be kidding me key src okay and i'm going to name it dot key and remember um or key actually and remember you use dot key to um um name it key um so yeah anyway that would do that now let's go ahead and do um a clear home command and uh what I'm going to be doing right now is a very simple loop a loop is um basically it's a code a line of code that allows you to uh, it's a bracket of code meaning it's like a box of code in your program that every it'll loop every time every time you do something until something happens I'll show you it's called repeat just press 6 in the program menu and uh, repeat loop what it does is any code inside here uh, after repeat and before the end statement that goes after repeats uh, will be looped until something happens meaning if we go over to IO and press 7 get key and then in a bracket type 15 and then another bracket and then click program and end something if we put a code inside here it'll be executed infinitely until you press whichever code is 15 now you're like okay I have no idea what you're talking about I'm so confuzzled Basically what this program does right now is it clears the page and we haven't written anything inside here yet but it'll keep doing whatever actually let's go ahead and write something in here let's make it display um, let's make it display A's and uh, basically what this does is it'll get key meaning it'll detect to see if you've pressed the key and whichever key has the key code of 15 it'll stop the loop now in your axe parser folder which you can't see me opening up right now but right about um oh my god sorry right about here oh you know what screw it right about there um, key codes is right right here so key codes and as you can see which you probably can't see I'm sorry for this um, you'll be able to see some key codes right here so here's the key codes for different things um, it's key, key codes that ping it's inside your axe parser folder and just find one of these key codes and the key code for 15 is clear so basically what this will do 
is um, it'll keep displaying A until you press the clear button. So if we do second and quit, and then in our apps for X, or I'm going to compile this as Mirage OS. I'm going to go to apps and Mirage OS. And there's my key app. As you can see, it's just completely displaying A until I press the clear button. And then it stops. And you can replace 15 with anything, any of those codes. Don't put a random number in there. It's got to be um, in the Axe Parser key code list. And uh, so, yeah, basically that's what that does. Now, the point of these get key loops is in a program like a in like a menu based program uh you know how if you've ever played a game you usually press clear to quit right that's they used this statement for this so um what we're going to be doing now is what's called um we're going to be putting a sprite which is a 8 by 8 picture on the screen and it'll keep it'll keep it on the screen until you press clear so press program hex pick sprite to hex as you can see here it's a little slow but you know it's written in TI basic so whatever it's easy to see that it's slow um, I'm going to just press second to fill in something here and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a simple circle so to do this we can um, do this and then press I which is the X squared button afterward to invert it to make it look like a circle so oops I forgot to click on that one so yeah this is how you use this program and this is how you make your sprites for your games so like if you wanted to, it to be a smiley face or a circle this is how you'd make a circle and then press X squared which will begin to invert it and of course it'll take forever because this program isn't the fastest program out there but it still works as you can see there is a little um, a preview of what it's going to look like right okay and now you're just going to want to press enter it'll say loading and then there's the hex code and um, that is stored as string one so um, basically in your program what you're going to want to do is so you can see right here I have all these pictures, right? So in your program, in your key source program, right after key, press second and delete to insert a new line. Press second and then store, which will do recall, and then we'll go to vars string string one. As you can see, you'll get this. You want to replace these quotes with um with brackets like uh, minus and X and multiply I mean fail minus and multiply you replace these and then what you do is you do um store which is right next to one and then vars picture and then picture one now this does it, it stores the ball into a variable called picture one which we will now display on the screen so to display it on the screen, it's very, very simple. Um, what we're going to want to do is we're first going to want to also clear our draw. So to do that, just add a new line. And then do second in program to get to the draw and just do clear draw. And then we're going to want to delete this line, do second and draw again, and go over to points, PT on. And then anywhere the cor X and Y coordinates on your screen, we'll just do 25 and 25 right now. And then the picture variable, so four and then one. Now, what this will do is at coordinates on at pixel coordinates on your screen, um, probably around here, it'll display a ball. So let's do it. And until we press the um, the clear button, it will keep displaying it, or it'll stay there rather. So let's go. And if you actually press, um, well, never mind go to key and that was weird hmm oh my bad I forgot to 
add one more thing. Whenever you're just drawing something to the screen like this, you always have to do display graph afterward. Wow, that was so easy. I feel like a noob. Oh. Anyway, do display graph afterward, and then um, now, again, after each time you change it, you do have to compile it again, which isn't really much of a pain, but same time it kind of is. All right, and now I'll go down to key, and as you can see, the ball is on the screen, and uh, if you press clear, you'll get out of it. So thanks for watching this. Um, feel free to subscribe, uh, comment, like, whatever you want to do, and. Uh, I'll be doing the next video now, so bye.